Well, Kratom has, through another loophole, become legal somehow, and so they, people, and then it's very unknown, but essentially it's the kind of drug that in some doses is a stimulant, in some doses it's a depressant. It's a very strange drug. It's derived from a plant. Um, but there's an entire Kratom Association of America right now that essentially has been hiring all these ex-drug policy officials, I hate to say it, some of them I know and are my friends, who are saying, you know, this isn't that bad and let's do research and, you know, we don't want to have any adulterants in it, but if you just take pure Kratom, maybe that'll help you off, you know, get off opium, uh, opioids because it helps, it does help some people with opioid withdrawal. And so it's being touted as maybe it can help us with opioids, when in reality, for a lot of people, it is addictive, and I have seen reports, some anecdotal and some not, that show that its addictive, addictive, addictive potential is very high, and it's a very difficult drug to get off of. There are some really scary stories from parents about Kratom, but you know, it's, it's something that we do need to study more and look at. You're right, it's often out of the conversation, and it shouldn't be because it's so widely available. And Delta-8, which is extremely dangerous as well, needs to be more of the conversation. <laughs>